Hello, this is going to be an instructional video to show how to take the striker unit out of a P99. My particular model here is the QA. I'm not sure if this will be the same for the AS, but here we go. First, make sure weapon is unloaded. Nothing in the magazine, nothing in the chamber. Unloaded. Disassemble it, pull it back. Pull the slide off. Alright, the only tool that you should need to do this is the little Allen wrench that comes, the little sight Allen wrench that comes with the P99 itself for the sights. Which I just said, I'm just being redundant. All right. So I get the back plate off of the striker, or the back of the slide, there's a little square right here on the right side. Detent that with the uh, Allen wrench. That, this, that little square is actually the striker unit. So when you detent this, make sure that you are holding it down because it might fly out of there. Also, your decocker will fly out of there too, like mine just did. And once you've done that, Striker comes free, and that's getting the striker unit out. Next will be the extractor, which is right here. To do that, you're going to take the Allen wrench and detent this little plug right here. Push it all the way down. Your retainer will pop, your retainer will pop out. That. and your extractor will pop out slightly. It will not fall off as long as you don't pull the Allen wrench out. Now that plunger that I just showed you will fall out of there, or come flying out of there once you pull the extractor out. So make sure you hold it in there when you pull the extractor out. And that little click was the spring. Which is when you, now you might be able to coax that the uh, extractor spring out of there. I'm not sure. I haven't tried. But the little two little holes on the top of the slide, you may notice. The Salon wrench fits into snugly. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. But if the plunger, either of these two plungers won't come out, which this one sure as hell will, you can use the Allen wrench to push it out through there. And that is stripping the slide. Now, you'll probably want to reassemble this after you get done doing that, so we'll do it right back the way we started. Yeah, this is where it gets a little bit tricky because you have to hold all your springs in. I'm going to take the, this piece. I apologize. I do not have the names handy. Place it back in there. The way I did this is I pulled yeah, place both of those in there. I had to do a little bit of two-handed work. You want to play... This is the, strictly the way I did it. I placed the extractor back on there. And detented this down enough to where I could get the... Well, you probably want to hold this down at the same time. You want to detent... Not sure if you're going to be able to see this. You're going to want to detent that in just far enough that the extractor falls back in there. Then you're going to push it all the way back down and it should pop in place. Once you've done that, you're going to put the striker back in. You don't want to put the decocking lever, you're going to want to hold that down. Push the striker once you get to a position where you can hold it and push the striker down at the same time. You may want to use a tool or something to do this, but I did it with hands, or I do it by hand, so. Yeah, 
There you go. Make sure that goes in properly. It should be it's back together. The recoil spring back in. And it functions just fine. Now, just to avoid plagiarizing myself, I will provide a link to the Walther forum where I found out how to do this if you'd like to completely disassemble the striker and take the spring off and all that. I'm not going to show you how to do that because I don't really care to. It's for people that are bitches that don't like the QA's trigger pull, which I really can't understand. This thing has a beautiful trigger in my opinion. But, uh, thank you for watching.